Although originally a working dog, if trained properly, he can be your great and loving companion. Whether you're looking to hike the great outdoors or run marathons, the Red Healer is your perfect choice. Are you considering to purchase a Red Healer? In this video, you will learn everything about the breed based on eight topics, so you can find out if this dog is best for you. Number one, origin. This type of breed is one of the two color variations of the Australian cattle dog. The Red Healer was initially bred for the sole purpose of herding cattle in Australia. It was bred by the British settlers around the 1800s. Although this dog was initially a working dog, he can be a great companion if you give him the necessary physical and mental training. Today, the Red Healers have become popular among many households. But keep in mind that this dog is not for a family with young children. But if you want to run marathons or hike the outdoors, then the Red Healer will be your perfect choice. Number 2. Personality The Red Healer is an energetic dog who is always alert and highly intelligent. He is very active and that's why he enjoys playing and running more than sitting still for a long time. Even though he was originally bred to be a working dog, it doesn't lack loyalty to its people. After it is trained properly, the Red Healer is very affectionate and heartwarming to its family. Some owners even describe the Red Healer as Velcro dog, which means always sticking close to its people. This type of breed is not known for barking, but if it develops barking problems, then you should take it to obedience training. You should know that proper obedience training is a must to remove any barking issue. The Red Healer can get along with anyone if it's socialized properly. It doesn't have problems with other people or dogs. All it needs is a proper introduction to them. Number 3. Appearance As originally bred to tirelessly herd the cattle for many hours, this also reflects on the Red Healer's general appearance. The Red Healer is tough and muscular, which gives the impression of agility and strength. The eyes of this breed are dark and oval with a keen expression. It has a broad skull with muscular cheeks. Its shoulder and neck are characterized by a great mass of muscle, and his forelegs are straight and parallel. It has a dense undercoat, as well as a smooth double coat. Although its undercoat is built for warmer weather, its overcoat is weather resistant, and as such, the Red Healer is fine in cold weather too. Its coat is gorgeously red and makes everyone fall in love with it. The Red Healer can grow up to 20 inches, which is 50.8 centimeters, and weighs up to 50 pounds, which is 22.68 kilograms. Number 4. Trainability you need to keep in mind that these dogs were bred as a working dog, and that makes the training hard, but not impossible. They are one of the most intelligent dogs out there, therefore, persistence in training will quickly yield results. They can be stubborn, but don't forget that they are smart and learn quickly, so you shouldn't give up. You need to invest in obedience and socialization training a lot. You can do it on your own, but it is better if you get a professional's help. Your main goal should be to make sure its herding instincts are kept under control. It is preferred that this type of breed gets training as early as 8 weeks old to make sure you end up with a well-mannered pup. Positive reinforcement and repetition are what works best for a Red Healer. If you want to learn more about dog brain training and training methods, check out the description. Number 5. Time Investment The Red Healer needs plenty of activities, exercises and companionship. It needs to have its body and mind constantly engaged with different activities. It is a very active dog, and an hour of playing in the yard is not enough for a Red Healer, nor is an hour's walk. Since it can't herd the cattle anymore, you can take it to agility training classes and tire it out. Running through courses and figuring out obstacles would give the ideal mental and physical challenges it craves. All in all, you need to consider that you need to make sure the Red Healer takes a lot of exercise per day, as well as have a minimum of three walks per day. It also needs weekly brushing to remove the dead hair and minimize shedding. Since you will be outdoors a lot with your Red Healer, monthly bathing is essential for it. Number 6. Best Home Although they get along with almost everyone, this is not the case for young children and small animals. 
Since the herding instincts of the red healer can take over at any time, they should not be in an environment with small animals and young children. Don't forget that in their nature they have to nip at the heels of livestock to encourage them to move. You might want to reconsider having a red healer if someone in your family is with allergies, as they shed their undercoat once or twice a year. The red healer needs to have a yard, but that doesn't mean an apartment isn't possible. You can have your red healer living in an apartment if you provide it with the right hours of activity it needs per day. Number 7. Health Red healers are generally very healthy breeds, but this doesn't make them immune to certain diseases that you should be aware of. Some of these diseases that your red healer is prone to include Cataract is a dense body that is placed within the lens of one or both eyes which can harm the vision of your dog. Deafness is also a problem that your red healer might face. It is uncommon in most of the breeds but a red healer pup can be born with deafness. This disorder cannot be treated but that doesn't mean your dog can't live well with it. However, you might want to assess a puppy's response to noise when choosing a new one. The red healer's life expectancy generally ranges anywhere from 13 to 15 years. Number 8. Cost The average price for a red healer puppy will be somewhere around $1,200. If you are looking for a specific look or a puppy with the highest quality and even show quality, you can budget anywhere between $500 and $2,500. So what do you think about the red healer? Let us know in the comments and share your experience with other interested dog owners. And if you found this video helpful, it will be great if you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss new videos and learn more about dogs every day. Thank you so much for watching.